feed the hairy beast. The grumpiest dog in the universe will still use this thing. <laughs> Fantastic. This thing is a godsend for anyone who needs to feed their pets when they're away from the house, for anyone with a disability, and most importantly, for anyone like me who was just lazy as balls. But there's one super exciting and wholly unexpected thing that the Akara C1 does. You'll have to wait until later on in the video to find out what that is. Bait. Masterful bait. Master bait! Thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Akara Pet Feeder C1. This very elegant looking 4 litre pet feeder wouldn't look out of place on a spaceship. It has battery backup in case the power goes out and works with Amazon Alexa. Feed the hairy beast. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Google Home, Siri Shortcuts, and Home Assistant. You can schedule feeds, feed your pet remotely using the app, have your Akara camera automatically spin round to face the device when your pet is eating, and trigger smart home automations. For example, to switch a light on next to the dispenser at feeding time. Step one is to throw the packet of poison away that is keeping the inside of this plastic bag dry for some reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why is the poison in a plastic bag? That's what I did, because I'm a moron. I thought Akara had lost their minds and put the silica gel packet in a place that couldn't possibly keep their product dry whilst it was stored in the factory. Turns out I'm a complete idiot, and it's supposed to go in the lid, presumably to keep the food compartment dry. The remaining steps are to put the metal bowl in the base, attach the base to the unit, and then put dry food in it. For this next bit, I can't stress this enough. You need to be super, super careful to press the clips all the way in before trying to pull the top off the device. I snapped a couple of teeth off the clips that subsequently ended up in the food bowl, and you don't want to trip to the vets, so be super vigilant when taking the lid off to ensure that you have fully depressed the buttons on both sides. Your mother never truly loved you. You'll probably amount to nothing. Those A-levels you got, pointless in the real world. Just depressing the buttons. Sponsorship cancelled. Sponsorship cancelled. Sponsorship. The software setup is the usual affair. Sex with me, your wife will never know. Not that kind of affair, you weirdo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's the usual kind of affair where you hit a plus button in the app, search for the words pet feeder, and then add it to one of your Akara gateways. And as I've said before, this is an Akara Zigbee gateway. Rather ridiculously, so is this sexy voiced cat. Normal link confirmed. <laughs> Stupid sexy cat. I'm sorry to interrupt the episode, right? But if you subscribe right this second, I will drop the biggest truth bomb you have ever heard. We'll do it then. I'm not doing it if you don't subscribe. Thanks. Thanks. Truth bomb and lie. So, right, this couple on TikTok claim to be from the future and that they've discovered humanity is no longer there. They're the only two people on the planet wandering these empty cityscapes. If that's the case, why has this football pitch been mown? Did they just hang around mowing this football pitch themselves? Truth bombs. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs>
Akara's stuff these days works entirely locally. This means that you don't need an internet connection in order for all of the things to work the way you want them to work. Routines will still work, schedules will still work, you can still press the buttons in the app, and you can still press the physical buttons in real life to make your dispenser do stuff. And considering they have a massive array of awesome products, it's easily one of my favorite off-the-shelf solutions. Not just because it works locally, but also because it's Zigbee. Ah, oh, the Zigbee! Someone complained I hadn't done that in a while. I, I apologize. This is a joke-heavy episode. I've become a catchphrase comedian. One day, old man Hibbert is gonna be like, Oh, the Zigbee! Oh. Anyway, the reason I tell you this is because the majority of Akara stuff works with Home Assistant via a Conby stick because it is Zigbee 3.0. And this device is no exception. I was able to connect it to Home Assistant directly using my Raspberry Pi and a Conby stick, and because I can get Home Assistant to control the dispenser, I can easily create time-based automations, and I can now use any button from any manufacturer that I have connected to that Raspberry Pi to make the dispenser work. If you don't intend on using a Raspberry Pi like a giant nerd, then you can achieve this exact same result using an Akara Zigbee Hub. This will enable voice control via Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and Siri shortcuts, but it also opens up the obvious options of pressing an Akara button too. It is well worth investing in the Akara G3 Hub, not only because it has a Zigbee Hub built into it, but also because it means you can intrude on your cat or dog's privacy all day long. <laughs> Jeff Bezos would be proud. The nosy space-dwelling privacy invading underpaying wealth hoarding and maniacal little cretin. Drone released. Drone released. Drone released. The primary advantage to using their G3 camera is that the camera can be set to automatically turn to face the pet feeder when the food is dispensed, and mark it on the video timeline to show you at a glance if your pet actually ate the food, which is fairly amazing. The second advantage, of course, to using this in place of a Raspberry Pi is that your virginity won't grow back and your wife won't leave you. You've seen my wife! Isn't that right, wife? Yes! Yes, it is! Because the C1 is powered by the mains, it will also act as a Zigbee repeater to your other Akara Zigbee devices, which helps to extend the signal range for your Zigbee mesh, which is another really cool bonus to having this thing in your house. The three buttons across the front are a sync button, used for putting it into pairing mode, a fish button, which 100% does not dispense fish, but does spit out a portion, and a voice recording button which allows you to record an appropriate message to attract your dog. The speaker is a little bit on the quiet side, so it will depend where your dog is at as to whether it will hear it, but if your dog is anything like Bertie, it will sit greedily beside the dispenser all day long anyway. By default, the portion size is about 8 grams, but you can adjust the portion sizes in settings, or simply set it to unleash a suitable amount by scheduling 3 or 4 servings each time. For whatever reason, Akara have decided that you're feeding your dog 3 times a day whether you like it or not. The options are to schedule 3 slots, or simply not schedule at all, and I think there's a bit of a missed opportunity to maybe have a schedule for 2 times a day. You can also choose not to feed your dog at all on a given day, in case you wanted your dog on a fasting diet so you can get him super cut for that bodybuilding competition you've got coming up. Let's say you drain your biceps, blood is rushing into your muscles, and that's what we call the pump. You can actually take manual control of the schedules by simply disabling the built-in three-event schedule system altogether, and create automations that say, if it's 10am, then feed the dog. You can even take this further and create an automation that says, if someone manually feeds the dog in the morning, then temporarily disable the afternoon feed automation. Akara's automations are super powerful, and it's another reason that I absolutely love their ecosystem. But between being able to control this thing with your voice, the time-based automations 
and also the ability to press an Akara button to get this thing to trigger, I think there's something here for everybody. And with an event placed in the camera system, you can always check if your pet is lying to you. Which, let's face it, they all do. You haven't fed me in days, bitch. I'm losing all my gains. I need to get soul, bitch. Feed me, bitch. Dogs say bitch a lot in my head. I'm, uh, I think that's what, that's what they're thinking. Bitch. <laughs> There's not a great deal negative to say here, other than what I've already highlighted, but it's worth bearing in mind that the maximum biscuit size is 12 millimeters. If you have big, chunky biscuits for your dog, this ain't the device for you. It also doesn't work with Apple HomeKit, and this isn't Takara's fault, it's because the category of pet feeder does not yet exist in the Apple ecosystem. You can use Siri shortcuts instead, but bear in mind that if you want to use your voice for Siri shortcuts, the Apple iPhone that has Siri shortcuts set up on it will need to be in the premises at the time. If you leave the house, your wife won't be able to talk to Apple HomeKit to get this thing to work because your iPhone is the thing that contains the instruction. This is a fantastic device for the elderly and the disabled as there is a whole lot less bending down. But it's also fantastic for anyone who finds themselves having to nip home to feed their pets. I know my sister-in-law will find this thing super useful for feeding her cats, as she often has to leave shortly after a family gathering to feed them. Between the camera and the dispenser, she could not only feed the cat on a schedule, but she could also check the cat had actually eaten. At £100, I think this thing is well worth the spend if you need to feed your animals whilst you're out, or if you have a disability, or if, like me, you just like watching Bertie staring at it salivating. As usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick this thing up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. I'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video, and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when it uploads videos. These incredible people running down your screen are my patrons from Patreon. And without them, I say it every week, I would be working in a call center. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. I'm gonna hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Oh yeah, have sex with me, your wife will never know. Not that kind of affair, you weirdo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the worst. The dad jokes get worse every week. That's no wonder people hate me. I need this button. I'm going to start that again. <laughs> Milk is for the babies. I can't do an Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's not happening. <laughs> the nosy, space-dwelling, privacy-invading, underpaying, wealth-hoarding, egomaniacal little cretin. Ha 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 ha!